viewers this is dr p meri anupama today we'll be studying about disorders of carbohydrate metabolism as a part of our study of clinical biochemistry metabolism the first one is hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia hypoglycemia it occurs when blood sugar levels are too high hyperglycemia people develop hyperglycemia if their diabetes is not treated properly and next one is hypoglycemia sets in when blood sugar levels are too low this is usually a side effect of treatment with blood sugar lowering medications diabetes leads to hyperglycemia and this is of two types we have type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes type 1 diabetes in this the body only produces very little insulin or none at all in case of type 2 type 2 diabetes not enough insulin is released into the blood stream or the insulin cannot be used properly by the body lack of insulin this increases the increases the blood sugar so very high blood sugar we call it as hyperglycemia and this leads to number of symptoms if high blood sugar levels uh, if blood sugar levels are too low it is called hypoglycemia slight fluctuations in blood sugar levels are completely normal and values must be between 60 to 140 mg of sugar per deciliter of blood then the person is considered to be healthy in type 1 diabetes blood sugar levels can get very high sometimes exceeding 27.8 millimoles per liter which means 500 mg per deciliter which is very high as compared to the normal ones blood sugar concentrations between 3.3 millimoles per liter means this is just 60 mg per deciliter which is considered to be very low that is hypoglycemic and the signs of hyperglycemia as in type 1 diabetes the patients will be suffering with these things that is extreme thirst drinking a lot and then urinating frequently as a result unintentional losing of weight within few weeks noticeable loss of energy with muscle weakness tiredness generally feeling quite unwell nausea stomach ache trouble in seeing poor concentration frequent infections then confusion and drowsiness or even coma then signs of hypoglycemia include most uh, common in people who use insulin or take certain tablets to reduce high blood sugars reasons is unplanned physical activity or eating meal later than usual late meals or drinking too much alcohol can cause uh, blood sugars to drop down to very low levels and signs include the racing uh, pulse cold sweats pale face headache feeling incredibly hungry shivering feeling weak in the knees feeling restless nervous anxious difficulty in concentration and for confusion and classification of diabetes here we have type 1 type 2 then we have gestational and secondary also so here the characteristics and clinical comments type 1 it can be autoimmune previously called as juvenile or insulin dependent diabetes mellitus while type 2 is polygenic and influenced by environment gestational it is aggressive and clinical progress uh, secondary is side effects of medications clinical comments for type 1 potential association with other autoimmune diseases type 2 increasing incidences associated with higher life span and western cultural habits and gestational may persist even after pregnancy during pregnancy people get it but later on it may persist also secondary is because of some causative agents next diagnostic test for diabetes diabetes may be diagnosed based on the a1c criteria or plasma glucose criteria either the fasting plasma glucose or the 2h plasma glucose value after 75 grams oral glucose tolerance test they do it then random blood sugar test a blood sample will be taken in a random time blood sugar levels of 200 mg per deciliter uh it is good uh, 11.1 millimoles per liter this accounts to that or if it is higher than this it suggests it is diabetes fasting blood sugar test 
a blood sample will be taken after an overnight fast then the fasting fasting blood sugar level less than should be less than 100 milligrams per deciliter this is considered to be normal if it is from um, 100 to 125 milligrams per deciliter it is considered as pre diabetes if it is above 126 then uh, the person may be diabetic oral glucose tolerance test for this test the person has to fast overnight and the fasting blood sugar level is measured then the person is made to drink a sugary liquid and blood sugar levels are tested periodically for the next two hours the blood sugar levels if they are less than 140 then the person is normal if the reading is more than 200 after two hours it indicates diabetes and if the reading is 140 to 199 between 140 to 199 in between then it is pre-diabetes next we have diabetes ketoacidosis and some symptoms which can uh, uh, which are listed here the symptoms are frequent urination extreme thirst high blood sugar levels high levels of ketones in the urine nausea or vomiting abdominal pain confusion fruity smelling of the breath a flushed face fatigue and rapid beat diabetic ketoacidosis arises because of lack of insulin in the body the lack of insulin and corresponding elevation of the glucan it leads to increased release of glucose by the liver from glycogen via glycogenolysis and also through gluconeogenesis so high glucose levels they spill over into the urine taking water and solutes such as sodium and potassium also does it along with it in a process known as osmotic diuresis this leads to polyuria dehydration and polydipsia thank you for watching this video